Okay, so now that we have the great Tuva, we can add a light bulb. Fun, right? So, there are light bulbs on the market. Um, there's many. Okay, there's Sylvania Smart Plus. These are complete cancer to put on your home assistant. Okay? Don't do it. Not worth. They are easy to put in Alexa. They are super easy to get into Google. But if you want them on Home Assistant, they are a complete cancer. Fiat Electric. So cheap. Okay, way cheaper. Um, they come in a variety of things. They can be found very easy at your local hardware store. Um, and they are part of the Tuva network. Um, they are just rebranded Fiat Electric, as you know, because we just did a plug. Yeah, so that was pretty good. And uh, if you did a plug, like I showed you, you'll notice that that's very stable on your network. It's really hard to get rid of. It's always there. It's easy to click on and off, and it's super stable. Okay. So now we add a light bulb. And then we have the ability to show an automation because we'll have a trigger, a motion detector. We'll have a light bulb. This is like a 100 watt light bulb. It's huge. Go big or go home, right? And let's see, what other things? I do like this type of bulb right here because it does go within a range. So if you read this, this is super good for photography, by the way. Um, so it'll go from 2700 to 6500 Kelvin. Okay, so that's really good. And it gets all the colors too. It warns you about uh, the 2.4 gigahertz network. So obviously you would have to have your router on unbridge mode so that you can take advantage of having a 5 gigahertz and a 2.4 gigahertz side by side and all your home assistant stuff is going to go on to the 2.4 and all your other stuff is going to go on the 5. So good stuff. So if you don't know what I was talking about it's very specific to your router and there's a million routers out there so if I was to show you how I did mine it would not even relate to your router. Sorry. Okay. Let's add this. So I'm going to attach this to an area that has a really good Wi Fi range. Okay. So I'm going to put this somewhere near the router. All right. So your light should be blinking at a very annoying rate. And we're going to hook up the two of you. Okay, so there's several ways to do this. So add device, add device. Go to lighting. Now that is a Wi-Fi bulb. Okay, so Wi-Fi bulb. Oh, now I have to hook up to my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Okay, so. Confirm it is blinking. Yes, blinking. It is annoyingly blinking. So it's this one. And hopefully I got strong enough Wi-Fi in this area right here because I got two bars. So it might not go. I might have to go out there and do it. So it is definitely going to time out. So I'm going to have to go into the other room to add it to the phone. <laughs> All right, so there we go. It's connected. I'd go out there. So now that it's connected, you know, like let's say you wanted to connect these bulbs, just connect them near your Wi-Fi router. Get your phone near the Wi-Fi router. 
make the initial connection and after that you you can put this bulb in the furthest corner of your your house it'll still work but that initial connection needs to be so strong and so accurate and without it it will time out every time okay so Alexa already told me that it found this light So that's telling me that the Tuva network is hooked up correctly. And this has cool common functions like colorful, dim temperature. Uh, so it has like this little thing. It's pretty sweet. Ooh. Color temp. So all this needs to go into Home Assistant too. I want to take advantage of all of this stuff. Okay, so now that we have it in the Tuva network, let's go check check out what it looks like in Home Assistant. All right, so here we are back in Home Assistant, looking for our newly discovered light bulb. And so that was part of the Tuva network, and we could just go to Integrations and go check out Tuya. Now it says two devices, two entities. Okay. And there we go, color light. Okay, so if you do it this way, you can just go right to add to dashboard. And I'm gonna add it to dad's room. Now, see how this one just gives you the on and off? Let's see if they have something else. So let's look for this one maybe. And there's quite a few, so. Let's save that. Kind of, we'll look at that and see if we're happy with that card. That's huge. Wow. What I don't like about it, it's really big. Okay, so we're gonna hit Edit Dashboard, Add Card. We're just gonna go look at another card here. This was what? This is the card we want. Wait, hold on. Just saw it. Light. Okay, we don't want E-light though. We want something, we want color light. Try Dad's bulb again. And save. Okay, so we want to get rid of this one. We want to delete that card and delete it. And there we go. So, in we'll take a look at that real quick. So it looks like the color light, light color light, is off. Okay, so cancel, that's it done. And let's go back over to the integration. And you see two devices. And we have color light. It does have it on and off, but it's not showing up. So what we're gonna do is um, restart everything. So we're gonna go to system and do a restart. And I'm just checking it on my phone to see if I can toggle it on and off. I can. Through the app only, though. OK. 
Okay, settings, device automation. Find Tuya. And there it is. Cool. It's lit up and it does work. Sweet. So let's go look at this one. Ooh. Okay, now let's look at it fully. You can see in the corner I do have the ability to change all the colors. I can change the temperature of the bulb and the brightness of the bulb. And that's all scriptable too. So turn it to a nice dark, somewhat lit. Nice. All right, so we got a plug, a light, and we got a motion sensor that I never adjusted yet. Okay, now the motion uh, uh, switch, right now you would just have to mount that somehow. Um, and obviously you would come up with a better case for it. So as we go through this series, I'll show you how to build sensors that look nicer or more industrial. Um, I have kids, so I have to build everything that can survive a kid. So if it can't survive a three-year-old, I don't do it. So I'll show you how I do that in, uh, in later episodes. But for right now, I would say I would just be able to mount this somewhere and then we can like make an automation for this. So this is how you add a light to Home Assistant uh, and it's uh, one of those Fiat lights using the Tuva network. Enjoy. <laughs>